coming up. In this video, you will learn how to create a custom WordPress footer using Beaver Builder. The problem is that editing the footer area of your site is usually pretty limited and dependent upon your WordPress theme. Building our footer is pretty easy with the help of Beaver Themer, which allows us to create Beaver Builder layouts in areas of pages or posts that are normally controlled by our WordPress theme. First, you will need to be sure that you have both a premium version of Beaver Builder, as well as the Beaver Themer add-on plugins installed and activated on your WordPress site. We will also need to turn off our default theme footer. For most themes, this can be achieved in your WordPress customizer. In this example, we have the Beaver Builder theme installed. From our WordPress dashboard, we will go to Appearance, Customize. From the customizer, click on Footer, Footer Layout, and select None from the dropdown. This will hide the default footer from our entire website. For more information on how to get started with Beaver Themer, I will link up to a video series in the description below this video. The next step is to create a new Themer layout. From your WordPress dashboard, click on Beaver Builder in the sidebar. Next, click on Themer Layouts. Here is where you can create and manage your Beaver Themer layouts. Go ahead and click the Add New button. Note that you'll want to give your Themer layout a unique name. In this example, I will just simply call it Footer. The layout type we are going to select is Themer Layout. In the Layout dropdown, we will want to change this to Footer. Once you've made your selections, go ahead and click Add Themer Layout. The next step is to configure our layout settings. Here you can create location rules for where you want your layout to appear. For this example, let's set our footer to appear on Pages, and then specify all pages to be sure that it's visible across all pages on our website. The Rules section lets you set any conditional logic rules, such as appearing only when the viewer is logged in or logged out. Once you've finished up, click the Publish button. Now it's time to start building your footer layout. With your settings configured, go ahead and click on the Launch Beaver Builder button to open up your new footer in the Builder interface. When the Builder opens, you'll notice that Themer automatically provides you with a default footer layout. When we hover over the footer contents, you can see that each one is a Beaver Builder module. From here, you can modify this layout template however you like, or you may delete the rows and start from scratch. I think the easiest way to get started is to use the provided template. Let's begin by changing the background color of our rows. You can easily adjust the settings for each row, column, and module by hovering over it and clicking on the wrench icon. Scroll down and for background type, we want to choose color from the drop down, and then select a background color and click save to save our changes. We can move elements around by hovering our mouse over it and then clicking and dragging the cross icon to place it where we want. To add different modules, click the plus sign in the top right corner of the screen. There are over 30 modules to choose from, including icons, text boxes, and photos. You can drag your desired module over to your footer and place it where you like. When you're finished creating your footer layout, click Done and Save Draft to save the changes to your layout without making them public yet. The next step is to add your footer content. With your footer layout just how you want it, it's time to change the default placeholder content to match your business's information. To do so, simply click on any module in your footer. As you make changes, the live preview updates in real time so you can always see exactly how your content will look on the front end of your site. There's no need to reload the page or open it up in another tab. Once you've finished up, click Done this time, go ahead and click Publish to make your footer live. Question of the day, what have you created with Beaver Themer? Let us know in the comments below. And of course, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to hit the like button and click to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.